Hi, my name is Natasha Vaughan and I'm just here to talk a little bit about my time at South Nottinghamshire Academy and what I've been up to since then. Um, so I did A-levels in SNA um, in 2015. I chose physics, chemistry and maths. Um, this was just based purely on what I liked and what I was good at. Um, I knew I didn't really want to go to university and so the decision was a lot easier for me. I didn't have any pressure of choosing options based on a degree, which I know a lot of people do have. Um, so for me personally, I didn't really want to go to university just because I think I'd put a lot of pressure and stress on myself throughout GCC and A-level years. Um, and so the thought of doing about three or four years of like hardcore studying at university just didn't really appeal to me. And I thought if I change my mind and I have regrets, I'll just apply to uni later down the line. It's not the end of the world. Um, so that's when I decided to go down the apprenticeship route instead. Um, so when I started to form, I didn't really have an idea of what kind of career I wanted to do. Um, so what I did was I went to as many career fairs as possible. So I went to a few, I think we held at SNA, and then there was various ones that were held around Nottingham that I went to as well. And basically just wrote a massive list of any jobs that I thought would be of interest to me, any jobs that would relate to my options, A-levels, um, and then just narrowed it down. So I narrowed it down to engineering and accountancy. Um, they were the two um, career kind of things I didn't work experience in. So um, that's why I sort of went for them. And I thought it would go hand in hand with my maths and physics A-levels. Um, I ended up deciding that engineering wasn't really for me and just decided to focus purely on accountancy. Um, just that was my preference um so yeah and then i also had a part-time job during sixth form as well at a restaurant which i would really recommend i think it's great to not only does it build up your skills like even though working in a restaurant is so different to what i do now working in an office i think it's definitely helped with my pupil skills and my communication skills definitely um and also i think i remember whilst doing my a levels it was a really nice distraction to go work at a restaurant and just completely take your mind off of studying and your exams um, so I, th I think that's a really great thing to do um so yeah so i wanted to finish my a levels fully until i uh, before i started looking for an apprenticeship i'm very much someone who likes to do things one thing at like one thing at a time so i didn't really want to start thinking about a job until i finished my exams but as soon as i did finish my exams i had an account uh, on the gov website which is great for apprenticeships um you basically just search your sort of area and it brings up um all the apprenticeships in a certain mile radi radius um which is great even if and it's great if you don't know what you want to do as well because it would just bring up everything whereas i knew that i wanted something in finance so i just used those keywords and and brought up those ones for me um so yeah so then i just started applying to quite a few um i think i probably applied to like five at first um just various ones that i thought sounded interesting and were in my sort of area um and then I got an interview, I think in August, 2017 and got the job, which was amazing. And I started there in September, 2017. So this was a tax company in Nottingham city centre. Um, I knew nothing about tax and nothing about accountancy. So it's very daunting to go work somewhere with all these adults and um, not knowing what you're doing basically. Um, but now I, mostly know what I'm doing so <laughs> it doesn't last for long I think the first two or three months you do feel a bit out of your depth but um that's natural because you've just come straight from school um and also the interview process as well is horrible you know there's no easy way around it it is scary but you get through it so so yeah so this was an apprenticeship in accountancy um the apprenticeship was 18 months long and it was in AAT level three. So anyone that's looking into accountancy, that tends to be the one you start with. Um, basically what I did was I had four days working in the office and then I had a day of college where I'd go to the college that was in town and um, basically just do my studies. Um, I think the great thing about doing the apprenticeship as well was that the exams were never set in stone. If you needed a bit of extra time, then you could always move them back. And I think that safety net is so good um, for me personally. I've never actually had to move back an exam, but I think having that there made me feel so much more calm while studying, which was great. 
Um, so I like that more relaxed environment for studying for me. Um, I thought university started a bit too stressful for me, so um, I think that was great. Um, so yeah, so I did my level three AAT and passed that after about the 18 months, I think. And then the company I was working with um, offered me a full-time job, a full-time position, which was amazing. I was really happy because I really enjoyed working there. Um, so yeah, and then they basically just told me that if there was, if I wanted to do the next course, which was the level four AAT, which I have been doing, I have got one more exam left of that. I think it's been a bit delayed because of COVID. So um, but I should be finishing that by the end of the year, which would be great. Um, so yeah, so, but I decided that I didn't really want to do the day release at college anymore. I thought my job had got a lot busier because I'd been learning a lot more and got a lot more responsibilities. I thought didn't really want the day release at college anymore and I wanted to do a bit more independent learning so I changed during my second course to just do it purely online so I would do it in my evenings or at the weekends um which is hard work I think there's um working nine to five five days a week and then also studying at the weekend and studying in your evenings it's it's not easy um but I am very lucky that I work for a really flexible company that if I needed a day off to study then they would they would just give it me which was amazing it made me feel a lot calmer um so yeah and then um the pandemic obviously hit about a year ago now so i've been working from home since then about a year um for us it wasn't too difficult i think uh, the company i work for is quite flexible in that um We've always been able to work from home if we needed to anyway. So we've all always had laptops um, to be able to do that. And so the transition was quite smooth, um, which was nice um, because I know for some people it was really stressful because they'd never worked from home before. Um, but yeah, it was, it was quite easy for us. I think the, the more difficult thing for us was uh, the company we work I work for is, is, is small. It's only about 10 employees. Um, and so we know each other really well and we do a lot of stuff together outside of work. Um, you know, after work drinks or food, or I think we do all sorts of activities. So I think the first month that I'd been there, we went white water rafting, crazy stuff like that. Um, so I think that part of it was difficult, not being able to see them and have a laugh in the office, I think was the more difficult part, but the actual working side of things has been quite smooth. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to going back into the office, um, hopefully later this year. Um, so yeah, so, uh, like I said, now I'm just doing my AAT level four, um, got my last exam. And then after that, um, it's it's a lot more broad on what I do next. There are so many different things and qualifications to do in accountancy. Um, but like I said earlier, I like to do things one step at a time. So I've not made any decisions yet until I've finished this last exam. And then I'll probably have a sit down and have a have a bit of a think of what I want to do next. Because um, there is there are so many options. Um so yeah, um, I think my advice would be um, to enjoy every moment of school. I know that sounds really cringe and you probably won't believe me, but working now, I do miss school so much. Um, and I think use all of the help and support that you have at school as well, because you get so much and everyone needs a bit of guidance every, every now and then and there's no harm in asking for it at all um and yeah I just think enjoy it and try not to I know you're making a lot of big decisions at the moment but you can always change them if I'd have got into my accountant job and not liked it I could change uh, luckily for me I did really enjoy it so um but yeah I hope this has helped a little bit in making your future decisions um, thank you for listening and good luck.